All right, guys, uh, we're back on the show. We're back with Norman. We had a great time talking about Sweet Magnolias and his work on the show. Well, we're going to have a great Q&A about the show coming up. But first, we're going to talk about NCIS Hawaii. It's a new show on CBS and Norman. Uh, we're going to find out how Norman's involved and what he's got going on with it. We're going to watch a quick trailer uh, for the show, see what it's all about. Showtime. NCIS. 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 It's Naval Criminal Investigative Service. I'm gonna fail. Hey, I'm Vanessa Lachey, and I am playing Jane Tennant on NCIS Hawaii. I am the first female lead of the NCIS franchise, and I don't take that lightly. And I'm excited to bring a different layer to this role and hopefully inspire this next generation of young girls and women. My character, Jane Tennant, is special agent in charge of NCIS. She is a mother of a 15-year-old boy and a nine-year-old girl, and that is real life, juggling life and love and work. Hawaii is the perfect setting for NCIS and the next chapter of the franchise. I myself have traveled there a little bit. I was born on an Air Force base in the Philippines and passed through Hawaii. You know, I obviously know the first layer that most people know when they pass through and you see the beautiful waters and the beaches. But what I'm interested to show is uh, the depth to the people of Hawaii. There's so much beauty there. There's so much culture there. And hopefully I can portray to everyone and show the beautiful side of Hawaii. All right, saddle up. Let's talk a little bit about this show. Um, it's, uh, you know, how, how did you get involved with? Uh, well, um, I've worked with uh, one of the showrunners before, uh, Jen Nash. I'd worked with Omer Zillian Isles. I'd worked with the line producer and the production manager before. I was delighted when they asked me. I wrapped up my season on Sweet Magnolias and then they asked me to do the first episode of The Back Order. So I'm, I'm doing episode 14, which I think is going to be on at the end of this month. I'm not sure of the exact date. I, I would encourage people to check their local listings, but I, my episode is the next one to be aired. And um, I went there in November, um, just had a lovely, lovely time working on the show. I really, really enjoyed the cast. I enjoyed the crew so much. Uh, had, had a great script that was written by the three showrunners. Um, uh, and um, I uh, just... Um, What's the episode called? Do you know what the episode's called? Uh, I think it's called Broken, but I'm not sure about that. that or if I'm there is an episode called Broken. I saw yeah, that. I think that's mine. Yeah, okay. I, I okay. Uh, you know, was on the cover page of my script for a whole month, but uh, you know, I can't, I, I can't remember right off the top of my head. But that's what sorry talking. to call you out on that, Norman. I'm, I'm also sorry. Like, never sure when I'm supposed to talk about the title or not, because sometimes sure. they hold back on the title. But, um, but yeah, it's a good episode. It gave me um, uh, uh, an opportunity to do a lot of things that I haven't been doing because I've been working on Spring Magnolia for the past couple of years. So it was just a lot of fun, and it was a it was a wonderful way to spend. I was over there for the entire month of November. I was there over Thanksgiving, and I just had such a nice time. And it was um, um, really um, uh, again, it was a labor of love. I was yeah. just really lucky that they um, decided to include me in the NCIS family. It's, uh, first time I've done an NCIS episode of any kind, and I really uh, enjoyed it. So, what was it like doing like some people. action scenes? Yeah, you know, there are definitely some action scenes. Right, like there's, there's definitely like some uh, some stuff that we would not be doing on Sweet Magnolia. Yeah, yeah. You know? So uh, and that was fun, and I loved the stunt coordinator, and I really um, loved the special effects department. Uh, there was just there was a lot in it that was very cinematic, and I really was delighted that I landed on an episode that gave me a chance to do some really uh, different stuff. Uh, I love telling stories visually. That's the reason why I got into filmmaking in the first place is I'm a, um, a visual storyteller. I like trying to figure out how to tell a story such that you could turn down the sound and track the emotional line of the story. And, and um, this episode really gave me a, sh a chance to do that. And I, I think it's a good one. I think it's, it's really good. And it's going to open the whole rest of the season. It's the it's the first uh, episode back after the Olympics. And so I think it'll be 
it's a powerful one. So I hope people watch. I hope you watch. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Uh, what was yeah. it like working with uh, Vanessa? The lovely, lead? lovely yeah. person. Yeah. Vanessa Lachey is just terrific, easy to be around, wonderful to um, uh, converse with, uh, wonderful to, to direct, just just was so much fun to work with but the entire cast was as well i sure i like the the regular cast uh top to bottom uh the guy who is the the uh visiting um cast was a guy i'd worked with before in new york and so that was a nice reunion worked with a guy named david call who um, um i'd worked with on gossip girl years ago so that was a nice reunion uh Alec Mappa is a guest in it, and I would not worked with him before, but it was a pleasure to meet him. And so um, I, it, I, it was one of those experiences where it just went so smooth. The entire episode went so smooth. I really, I hope they'll invite me back next year. My fingers are crossed because I had such a nice time working with them. I really did. So my hope is yeah. Sweet, Magnolias will, uh, Sweet Magnolias will get a third season and then Maybe on the tail of that, hopefully I can go back to Hawaii sometime next year. Come on, fingers crossed. If, hey, if any absolutely. number listing, I hope that they'll, they'll <laughs> take, take it in how much I'd like to go back. So you're shooting literally on location in Hawaii because yeah. sometimes they do fake that, right? I mean, no, uh, it's it's uh, it's Hawaii and it's uh, in Oahu and um, in Honolulu. Um, but we went to the north side, of the, the, as they say, the windward side of the island. We shot on the beach, um, several scenes on the beach. And um, I um, got to see a lot of the island while I was shooting. So that was nice. It was wow. actually my first trip to Hawaii. I'd never been to Hawaii before. Oh, uh, really? So, mm, I never had. I, um, I had planned over the years, I planned several trips to Hawaii. And then every time I priced it out, it was like, oh, I can go to the Caribbean for half as much. So I'll just go there. You know, and so I, uh, I'd never really gone to Hawaii, so it was great to be in Hawaii. It's great to be in Hawaii on somebody else's dime. So uh, I uh, really had a nice time and um, uh, just uh, in a very short time learned to love the place a lot. And, you know, so it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I would like next, if I, yeah. if I get to go back, if I'm lucky enough to get to go back, or if I just go back at some point, I'd really like to visit the other islands. I'd like to do a little bit of island hopping and see how oh, sure. it is on the other islands as well. Cause I was only on Oahu. So I've never been to Hawaii. I don't know. I don't know any, really anything about it to be yeah, honest. Well, there's, just what I've there's seen. several islands and uh, apparently yeah. they're all very different, uh, have a very different feel each one of them. So, Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So. Very interesting. Yeah, that's cool. So does the show take a ch take a time to sort of show that as well? Not that's really. They keep pretty much focused on because the NCIS base yeah, is sure. to be Pearl Harbor. So they pretty much stay in, in the in that in area. Environs of Oahu. I, I don't know actually. I don't know if their plan is to go to other islands or not, but uh, I don't have any um, special information on that. But, um, but my episode, I was delighted that we got to go to the windward side of the island so that I was able to experience that. So I, I read, and I don't know if you can talk about that again. I don't know. I'm just, this is just me. I'm an idiot. Um, I read that potentially there was some sort of like Hawaii five O crossover talk of like Daniel day, Kim, and I oh gosh, I can't remember the young lady's name that was on the show of coming on NCIS Hawaii. Does he think, do people I, just say that because they're both in Hawaii? Is that I have no people? idea about any of that. That would be something that's above my yeah. favorite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I think agree. people just come up with this stuff because it's like Hawaii and Hawaii yeah. and like- I, I really don't know. I don't have any yeah. special information on that. So it's, yeah. That would be kind of cool though, I guess, uh, if you're, you know, if you're a fan of those shows. I, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, um, always uh interested when shows kind of intersect with other shows but i i don't know what the mechanics of that are are they even on the same network i have no idea so, that's a good question um i think they are but i'm not entirely sure I, I couldn't be sure about that i'm sure somebody watching knows and is i i, I could it. see you know them having like some type of intersection with one of the other ncis, NCIS. yeah for yeah, sure absolutely like they might try but I, I i really don't know i i not privy to what the plans are for the show, but I did. I did. I was really um, 
delighted to have been a guest director on the show. Um, That's really awesome. enjoyed working with everybody top to bottom. So very That's well amazing. run show, very, very um, uh, wonderful people. Cast is wonderful, easy, fun to be with. So, you know, it's good to have that experience when you go into a show where you feel really welcome and part of the family right away. So. Absolutely right. Just creatively. Yeah. What, what, um, you know, NCIS is, is such a massive franchise of shows. What, what do you think generally makes it so popular and appealing to uh, a worldwide audience? Really? What I think, I think the idea of teamwork, I think the idea of, of again, you know, similar to Sweet Magnolias, the idea of community. You have a group yeah. of people who are really working hand in glove and really working together and pulling on the same oar. I think people like that. Um, I think that people enjoy procedurals because there's a mystery. There's a mystery to be solved. So people always enjoy that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. I think that, uh, again, it's clear that the NCIS, NCIS franchise really strikes a chord, which is... Yeah which is extraordinary and, and, and great. And um, I felt very lucky to be in part of it, you know, because it's been going for a long period of time. It really time. has. So, yeah. yeah. You know, to, to suddenly break into that franchise is, is, was a real boom for me. So, uh, but I, I mean, I, LL Cool J's involved, man. It's like he's in the NCIS franchise. I love that guy. I just think that people really enjoy uh, seeing people working together towards a yeah. common um, good and a common end. So, you know, that would be what I would, that's the way that I would, um, uh, say it. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Yeah. You're a veteran director in the industry. Your, your take on it is far more, uh, insightful than mine would ever be. I'm just like, I don't know. You know? I always feel like I'm a neophyte though. I always feel like I just show up and I'm just, uh, you know, beginner's mind every time I start, you know, I just, Oh, wow. I, I like that. Just, how am I going to approach this? What, what are the, what are, you know, I, I don't think any, any, any part of my experience never falls into that kind of routine. I, I just always look at it as I enjoy the work. I really enjoy being a director. I enjoy having the opportunity to, uh, to, to play. And yeah. so I just show up with a real um, expectation that it's going to be fun it's going to be a happy set. And usually it is, you know, and I, and I don't, um, uh, when, particularly when I'm a guest director, I don't go in with a lot of ideas of what I think should be done. I, I go in with a real sense of expectation and, and a real sense of like, well, what is, what is this show about? What, what are these people doing? Because everybody is already there before me creating something that I want to seamlessly move into as opposed to trying to come in and, and, uh, reinvent the wheel. So, to yeah. speak, you know, so, <laughs> totally. uh, I think that, um, um, it's a, it's a train doing a television show is a, is a moving train. And as a visiting director, you jump on and then you jump off again. Yeah. And all those other people are on that train moving forward. And so my job is to, is to make it um, uh, as good as possible for all of them, bring my skill set to the doing of that. It's a strange way that, that television has evolved uh, in terms of these shows that have visiting directors. It's strange. You, you, I've always questioned, well, why wouldn't it just be you have a couple of people and that's that? Yeah. But it's not that way. So uh, I just want to make it as easy as possible for all of the people that I'm working with so that they feel that I am a team player as well and that sure. I fit into their team uh, seamlessly.